really starting to notice that. And that's why I wanted to start it off with a live look at our old mill cam because you can hardly see out across the horizon, hardly even able to see the mountains right now. Um, and that's because of the haze and also some of that wildfire smoke that we're seeing. And so I want to give you a look at our air quality forecast over the next couple days. We're going to be in that orange unhealthy for sensitive groups uh, category today and tomorrow and then by Friday it's going to look a little bit better in the moderate category. The mornings are fine but it's the afternoon when the ozone settles in that it starts to get a little bit hazy out there and then throw that smoke into the mix. Ugh, just kind of yucky out there right? Let's take a look at our temperatures across the Wasatch Front right now. We're in the mid to upper 80s for most folks along the Wasatch Front. 82 in Tooele, Lehigh you're already in the 90s, 85 in Park City and mid 80s in Evanston and in St. George you're at 90 seven degrees already at 100 in Kanab, 89 in Bryce Canyon. And we've had some clouds kind of just hovering over southern and central Utah, pushing north. That's going to be the name of the game this afternoon. We'll see partly cloudy skies. But here's the thing, that cold front passed through last night across northern Utah. It's breaking apart right now. And I use that term loosely because our temperatures are dr aren't dropping too much. We didn't get any of the rain that folks in the Pacific Northwest got, which is what we desperately needed. But that system's brushing by to the north of us, and we still have high pressure that it's just continuing to dominate. It's going to keep us warm and dry. And we're going to be dealing with critical fire danger today. So temperatures are still going to be 10 to 20 degrees above average, especially in southern Utah. So the heat wave does continue. High fire danger from the Wasatch back to the Uinta Basin, some of that even pushing down into Castle Country. And here's some of the changes over the next couple days. We stay hot, but because of some moisture that's moving through, not bringing a whole lot of rain, but we could see some isolated thunderstorms in the higher elevations Thursday and Friday afternoon. Now, now, typically this time of the year we're in the mid 80s you know we ain't going to be close to that we're in the upper 90s today in Salt Lake City that is 10 degrees cooler than it was yesterday we're not in record setting territory so this is going to feel better but still it's well above average a breeze from the northwest 5 to 10 miles per hour partly cloudy skies today you'll see some of that haze hot hazy smoky 113 in St. George 102 in Price we'll hit 90 in Evanston peaking at 99 degrees in Delta and as we go into tonight still not much relief we'll be hitting 70 deg 70 degrees in Salt Lake City and it'll be warmer in St. George at 80 a little bit more comfortable in Park City at 63 degrees but we hold on to that first alert action day in southern Utah where you're going to be hanging on to those triple digits 111 degrees into the end of the week even into our weekend and then you start to feel a difference on Monday when we hit 106 degrees northern Utah tomorrow will be in the upper 90s each day gets a little bit warmer as we end the week and then by the weekend you're going to start to notice a difference. We'll be in the mid 90s for Father's Day, but back up to the upper 90s by next Tuesday. So no chances for rain, Amy. Oh, Just the I heat. Know. But for I mean, Father's Day, it. it'll feel a little bit nicer to spend some time outside.